Well, good morning. Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. As usual, I'm Clayton Schick, and yep, this is the outdoors. Still up at Caribou Lodge Outfitters in Northern Manitoba, Cranberry Portage. And uh, I got a little bit of a late start today. I'm not gonna lie. Glasses are fogging up. Really nice here at the moment. It's uh, 10 o'clock, so yeah, late start. But I've been giving her pretty hard, doing some editing in the evenings, trying to get videos rolling, all that fun stuff. Yeah, sun's up over there, better get out of there. So I'm not getting an early start today. But the good news is, is most of my fishing has been better as the day's gone on. So I've got high hopes for today. It's gonna get better at some point. We're gonna do another day of Lakers today uh, and possibly fool around with some bourbon or something like that later in the day, I think. I'm not sure yet. I want to catch a bunch of bourbon to take home at some point. I'm going to swing to one area and check, see what the visibility is like on the underwater camera in about 30 feet and possibly set up for some walleye, burbot, possibly some lakers type of thing. But I don't know. I've never fished it, so I don't know what's going to happen. That's been the one big thing about this trip so far is all the spots I fished has been all new spots for me. So. Is the fishing not good right now, or is it just because I can't find them? I'm not sure. But I like to explore new areas. I always have. I don't want to always get caught in the same rut, right? Going to the same spot time after time after time. Nice hand movements. I like, like exploring different areas. I really do. So let's get the Polaris fired up. Look at how dial it is right now. Rods, rod holders ready to go. Ion, double otter train, super fired up. I was looking at a new sled possibly, but it's gonna wait one year yet for sure. I want more of a utility sled that's meant to kind of haul all this stuff around and get a bigger box. I can haul camera gear and all that stuff. So for now, this is what we have. And that has been a three minute intro. Let's go fishing. We are officially set up in the otter. I didn't show much of the setup just because I wanted to keep the cameras, my main cameras, warm and toasty so I could get the filming pretty quick since I got a late start. But yeah, pumped up. It's going to be a fun day. I got a feeling anyway. Oof, I've got bad neck pains when I see that camera just dropped. That was my arm doing funny things. I haven't been sleeping good. Bad neck pains. Let's go fishing. What's going on, guys? We're doing a little, a little giveaway today. And this is really only good for people in Kenora. But uh, if you're following along on these stories, I appreciate you. And I wanna, I wanna give back. So we got a big bundle of ice pods. Some of them... Uh... Oh, look at this mark. Oh. oh, so aggressive. Wow, I was on my phone, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I was on my phone. I was listening to a Jay Seaman story. He's just giving away some ice rods right now. And I was trying to see if they were any good, if I needed to get in on that. But no, it's just for people in, in Kenora. Oh, this thing is fighting hard. I was definitely on my phone. And I looked over and I saw Mark. Thankfully, thankfully, I caught him and I didn't biff it because normally when you're on your phone, you biff it somehow. That was awesome. Good way to start the day with an aggressive lake trout up high. Nothing like being on your phone. Okay, come on, girl, where are you? Oh. That thing, when it did hit me, it smashed me. I got a good hook set on him too. Ooh, nice fish. Not big, not big, not small. Just a nice dark one. There we go, ooh, ooh, that fish surprised me a little bit. A little bit bigger than I thought. Nice fish, nice dark one. Look at that. There's a good fish. Look how beautiful that fish is. Look how dark it is. That is amazing, even dark into the tail. Wow. So awesome. Hardly hooked. I got lucky on that one. One more quick look. Show it off. What a beautiful fish. Wow. That's good quality fish right there, I tell you. Very awesome. Oh, yeah. See ya. Yeah, not gonna lie. I was, uh, I was on my phone, which happens a lot, I think, when you lake trout fish and there's not a lot going on. I've been on my phone too much the last few days. And uh, 
I almost paid for it right there. I looked over and there was a mark chasing my bait around. I was on the phone, but I'm still jigging like this, right? Just like a robot. I look over, I'm like, oh, there's a mark. Anyways, it's pretty cool. Jay's giving away a bunch of rods in Kenora. He has just a big stack of older rods. Obviously still good rods, just rods he doesn't use anymore. There's another mark here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Another mark here at 40, 40 feet. Drop past him. Oh, oh, <laughs> it come up from top of it and just hammered me. Didn't hook up though. That was insane. Here comes again. God, that thing was insane. Insane. I can't believe how fast that thing up and come up and just actually came down. I watched the mark shoot straight down at it. That was insane. Wow. Okay. Maybe the new spot I just picked out for today could be good. This is exciting. Two fish, and I really just got set up. I haven't started fishing that long ago. Orange fin, orange fin one. These ones are always so aggressive with those orange fins. Come on. Come on, baby. What a day right now. This is a great start. I've caught two fish. Bang, bang. I hope it continues. Ooh, it's a nice one. It's a nice one. Come on. There we go. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Another dark, gorgeous fish. Wow, amazing, awesome fish. I love these lake trout, I love their colors. So crazy, holy, okay. He had that spoon buried in there. Wow, another beautiful fish, amazing. I love these lakers, I love how aggressive they are. It's hard to find lake trout that are always super aggressive. Sometimes they can be really docile. These things are on fire. Oh, another one. Look at that. Look at that. Holy cow, that came, look how fast it came. Oh, come on. Come on, I missed him. Come on. I missed him. It's gonna get still on me. Look how fast that came from up high. That was insane. Oh, come on. The thing came straight down again from like 31 feet. Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, you're down there. You're down there down there at 52 feet. Came straight down at it again. Oh, here we go. I got him fired up. I got him fired up. Here we go. Okay, I missed that one. He only gave me one shot. I'm surprised. But I've got like a hard grip on my rod right now because those things are insane. Like full speed they come at it and that one came from again like 31 feet showed up and just come straight down at me i've got a hump i've got a hump behind me here and i'm sitting off the edge of it and i wonder if they're coming over top of that hump or on that hump down at me i bet you that's kind of what's going on that was insane i think of this is like showing you the importance of taking advantage of your whole water column when fishing for lake trout don't get stuck and just always fishing the bottom it's, it's obviously like a walleye habit or perch or any of those species where you're always just fishing like the bottom five feet. Don't forget to come up for a little bit and kind of work that middle of the water column too because those fish will come up 20, 30 feet from the bottom to eat your lure too. They really will. But if you're down in 50 feet here, 60 feet, I guess actually this is 70 feet, and there's a lake you're cruising up at 30 feet, he might not come down 40 feet for your bait in that sense. So... Take advantage of your whole water column. Like I said in the last couple of videos, what I do a lot of times, I pound the bottom and I reel up. And then what I never mentioned either, sometimes I'll just pick my bait up here and say 50 feet and I'll just jig it for five minutes like that. And then maybe I'll go up to 40 feet and I'll jig it like that for a little bit. And I'm using like big, long strokes. I'm like up here to the hole, to the roof, let it free fall down. Down to the roof, let it free fall down. There's obviously way more ways to do this than what i'm doing it's just something that works for me and if you're not doing it yet give it a give it a try sometime but this isn't the only way to fish by any means it's just something that i do please keep that in mind when anything i talk about on my videos it isn't the only way to do something
Oh, look at that mark. Look at that. They came flying in. God, wow. As I was dropping down, came straight up again. Like that mark just flew in there. That was insane. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Can't believe how they can just fly in. That drag is so tight for my hook set. Like so tight. Come on. <laughs> that was crazy. Like crazy. Like it just like there's nothing you can do to like stop them from crushing it when they're coming in that aggressive. It's just mind blowing. Wow. This is a different lure I said I was dropping down a Dragon Slayer with a slower fall rate. And he had hit it as it was falling. Oh, oh I lost him for a sec. And as soon as I tightened up, it was there. It was like, I didn't really feel the him contact as much. Just another nice fish. Wow. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go, right in the corner of the mouth. <sighs> Perfect, right in the top lip, actually. Another nice laker. We are on fire today. This is, this is more what I remember. Some laker fishing up here. One last look. Like I said, this is more of what I remember some of the laker fishing to be like up here on fire. Super aggressive fish and like all nice size. Like average size is, is awesome. Like that's consistently between 28 to 31 inches so far today. Awesome. That was on the Dragon Slayer there. Tipped with a little bit of uh, belly meat there. And honestly, that's just for some scent more than anything. The best. The best. I should sleep in more often. This is the day where I've spent the less time on the ice and I've caught uh, my most Lakers so far. Perfect. Dropping down, dropping down. I'm yelling timber. You better move. You better run. I don't know the words to that song. Oh, burbot, burbot, burbot. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of burbot on the bottom. I just literally dropped my spoon all the way down and picked up what I'm guessing is to be a burbot. Probably coming in, eating all my chum now. That's what the burbots do here. That's what the burbots do here. Fighting like a burbot. Fighting like a burbot. That's exactly what it is. The burb is the word. Burb, 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 burb. Burb is the word. Burb, 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 burb. Burb is the word. Burb, 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 burb. See ya. Burb it like crazy. This one feels a little bit better. Until I get to the bottom, it's like Burbit Central. This one's got some weight though. I'll keep this one here. This will be a an eater. Actually, he's uh he's not blown up at all. His air bladders looks to be good. It's not coming through his mouth at all. So we're gonna release this one. The Burbit I've been catching, the ones that have uh, their air bladder coming out of their mouth because they're coming from deeper. I've just been keeping them. But the ones that can swim back down. I've been, I've been letting them go. Well, that will wrap up another day on the ice as the sun is setting in the background. It's, it looks cold out, but it's not. It's actually beautiful out. Not much to take away from this video, of course, but it's a short one. Caught a couple trout. Bites getting a little bit more aggressive, which is awesome. I think I lost two or three as well to go with the three that I caught. Burbit like crazy. I'm going to try to do a burbit show here at some point in the next couple days. Next couple videos. I've got a couple days left at Caribou yet. And I'm going to go on an adventure here in the next few days. I'm going to go literally backcountry to some lakes I've never fished in the wintertime. I've got some charting done in the summertime. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget, get outside. <laughs>